Oh, your no money still out here alive. You trying to divide Y'all the country. Y'all tried to call, you, call you peace treaty with your money a hundred times. You Go going kill. back. Show your face. Show your face, please. Look with sugar on top. Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookahanonymous underscore. All right? We're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at anonymous underscore. Alright, now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, we're going to get into the whole Lil Zay Osama um, diss Lil Dirk thing, right? Because I mentioned it in the previous video that I did based on Lil Zay Osama getting caught with the weapons, you know, the new situation that just came about, right? I talked about it on there, but real briefly, I kind of just, you know, went over it. But I think it went over a lot of people's heads. Not to mention, I'm starting to see people talk about it. So it's actually becoming a thing. So let's elaborate on it and what I meant by what I said. When I said that Lil Zay Osama kind of dissed, you know, Lil Durk and him, but mistakenly. Meaning that he dissed him. He wasn't even really trying to diss them. He was just trying to get at the guys that's affiliated with Dirk. But what he said kind of was like a general statement that could be taken the wrong way. So he got to. You got to be careful, you know, because some guys see that's how backdoor situations come about because you be hanging with guys. You don't know they really feel a way because you said or did something and they don't let you know because they just going off an of instinct. So you thinking it's all cool. You know, you thinking it's all willy nilly whole time. That's still in the back of their mind and you don't even know. So at the end of the day, you go around them thinking everything is cool. Next, you know, boom, you out of there because you done spoke or said something that they didn't like. Them guys took personal. Alright? So we're going to get into it. But before we do, let me give you the whole backstory so y'all can know exactly what's going on. Now, Lil Zay Osama was on Clubhouse. Right? And I tell y'all, stay off of Clubhouse, man. Don't nothing positive come from Clubhouse. It's weird. You got guys that's into it with each other, talking to each other. You know, I, I don't know. I guess I come from a different um era where you don't conversate with your op. You're not sitting there laughing keep keying i'm gonna do this to you especially on the internet so all this is kind of new to me but it's a thing now so it is what it is now lose osama is on clubhouse as well as the guys who allegedly took his jewelry you know um it's been a thing he said that these guys took both his watches while he was asleep and um the memo 600 was also on that live hey i know memo memo he's all over clubhouse um, he's going, he's into it with everybody, you know, recently he's been into it with Lil Varney and now it seems like Lil Zay Osama got caught in that little cycle, you know, so Lil Zay Osama was speaking on the situation, him and the dudes from THF and Lafa was going back and forth and some things were said that just shouldn't have been said. All right. Now here's what it is. Personally, I think it was out of frustration. I think, um, Lil Zay Osama may have been speaking on some that he had no business speaking on, you know, because these guys are really into it with these other guys. You, you got to remember, Lil Zay Osama just came into that situation with OTF. You know, I'm pretty sure they was cool, you know, him, Dirk, and whatever they was affiliated. However, he just officially came under the OTF umbrella and got signed. So you can't speak on certain beef because these guys really into it with these guys. You know, so you speaking on something that you're not even a part of, it could make things very interesting, let's say the least. All right. Now, basically, Luzay Osama was saying that he know these guys took it, but they just trying to cover their tracks and say they didn't take it because they still trying to get cool with Dirk. You know, he's still trying to be cool with Dirk because they know that if Dirk find out that they just took this man's jewelry, y'all supposed to be cool. How does that make Dirk look? You know, so he's saying y'all acting like y'all didn't take it because y'all still trying to be cool with Dirk. Cool. Then he goes on to say that, yo, y'all been with OTF forever and y'all still broke. You see what I'm saying? Now, here's the thing. Like, when you say certain things, I know that people probably say, oh, he's just talking about them. But now you got to think about the other guys that they cool with or that they're affiliated with that might take some type of insult to that. 
You know, there's other OTF members that might rock with them more than they rock with Jose Osama. And now he just gave them a reason not to like him. So I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of friction and tension between these guys in the near future. Mark my words. Now, after Jose Osama went and said that y'all been with OTF forever and y'all still broke, here's where the interesting part came. And I think that he mistakenly, you know, said or dissed Dirk and OTF without really, you know, meaning it. You know, um, so he went on to say, he said, quote, young money is still alive. <laughs> y'all know 051 young money. You know, then he said, y'all tried to call peace treaties with young money a hundred times. You see what I'm saying? The, this is something that has nothing to do with him. You know, he just came in. You got to remember, you got THF, OTF, Oblock. They're all in cahoots with each other. You know, they all cool with each other. 600, they all cool with each other. So when you saying things like that, these guys really lost members, bro. 051 Young Money and, and O Block and OTF and that THF and you know that's a that's a big war. So when you start speaking on things like that and these guys lost friends, these guys lost family members, now they start feeling the way towards you. Now you gotta watch your back. Now you don't know. Now you just set yourself up for back door. For that back door because how else are these guys supposed to take that you know then he went on to say yo they be spanking y'all you know they be spanking y'all so at the end of the day like i said man pride starts to come in you know guys who are actually thf and otf and, and, and affiliated the 600 stuff the, yeah they're gonna feel away now they say yo you just said that, that they be spanking us <laughs> you see what i'm saying so like I said, man, it's, it's, I'm telling you, in the near future, I could see a lot of friction coming out of this whole Lil Zay Osama and um, signed to OTF thing. You know, because then you got to remember, man, Bezu's still around. Man, that's perfect. Think about how Bezu would react if he heard that. If he heard Lil Zay Osama say, oh, Young Money be spanking y'all. Y'all asking for 100 peace treaties. How you think uh, uh, your boy Bezu going to feel? Let's be real here, y'all. You know, and then he's not going to be in jail forever. So at the end of the day, when he actually come home, if things have not already went left, I'm pretty sure that's an issue he's going to address. I'm sure that in the near future, probably in a couple days, you probably going to hear something from Bezu or another THF affiliate or somebody who's cool with Old Block and OTF. Watch. Mark my words. You know, and then I got to remember these guys, they actually have guys that care about them as well. So he, he may not have said anything about other members of THF. Right. But let, once again, let's take Bezu for an example. Let him hear Lil Zay Osama say, oh, well, I'm going to do this. When, when we catch y'all, we going to do X, Y and Z. Somebody dying over. He said somebody going to die over them chains. He said that on Clubhouse. So when you how you think they supposed to react when you tell one of they people, they close people, that you going to kill them. How they supposed to react? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah, you cool, but they knew them longer than they knew uh, they knew you. Whose side do you think they picking? You think they really going to sit here and let you say, all right, next time I, when I see y'all, when we catch y'all, we going to kill y'all, somebody dying behind that? No. It ain't going to go that smooth, man. That's why him being over there, he going to have to watch his back. So, Pretty much, like I said, I wanted to explain that because at the end of the day, a lot of people are wondering, oh, well, Lil Zay Osama, he didn't say nothing about Dirk. You see, he still said, because I see people in the comments say that, you see, he's still um, repping OTF. I know. I know. He, I don't even think he know what he did or, or what he said when he said what he said. You see what I'm saying? But that's those are some strong statements, man. And um, I'm sure if you affiliated with THF in any way, you know, you definitely felt some type of way behind those those statements. So, um, let's see how it is, man. I'm gonna actually leave a link to the actual audio that's that we post on our Instagram of the whole clubhouse clip. Y'all can check it out there instead of me putting it in this video. It's a lot of curses and all that. So y'all head to our official Instagram at Buka Anonymous underscore where y'all can check it out there. Or like I said, I'm gonna leave a link pinned in the comments so y'all can check it out. All right, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.